All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Today, I'm going to show you how to take apart Nate's 22. I'm missing something. Coffee. Coffee. Everything's always better with coffee. All right, guys. This is our very old, I should say Nate's very old Squires of Bingham. It's made by Savage Arms right here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, this gun is fairly old. You've seen me camel this gun a couple times. Uh, much like maybe a lot of you, I've simply owned bolt action and or shotguns. Very simple to operate, very simple to clean, very simple to take apart. These are quite simple as well. Just because it's semi-automatic does not mean it's difficult to deal with. Now I also got an SKS rifle which is also semi-automatic and it too is simple to take apart. But as soon as you say semi-automatic a lot of people get a little nervous about taking it apart. Springs flying everywhere and I can tell you that is the same way. In order to take this apart there is one screw on the very bottom and it's right here. I have had this apart several times. All right, so we got that out. That's it. Now this is a wood stock, obviously, that we've cameled up. And this is what you're left with. Obviously, obviously the barrel, receiver, trigger mechanism. Now it can come off too. There's only two screws holding this trigger mechanism on. Not a big deal. It will come off all in one piece, but. We're going to start with the internals here. So we'll set this aside. It's a lot easier without the scope on. I should have took the scope off. On the back side here, this is actually a screwed cap and that holds everything inside. So if we unscrew that. So minor technical difficulty. I couldn't get the cap off because the scope was in the way. So if I digress a little bit. Obviously this is where the scope was sitting. Two screws are run across the top here. The scope mount has, this, has the, the clamps on the bottom. They sit in there and they tighten up. So now we've got the scope off. Alright, so obviously I put the cap on a little tighter than I had thought. As you see it came loose pretty easy there. Now, what you need to watch, it is spring loaded, okay? So when you take this off, Keep it in your hand. There you go. What comes out is you've got the end cap, spring, and you've got the end cap, spring, and also a second spring that rides inside this one here. So in order to get the charging handle out and the firing pin out, there's a small screw on the bottom behind the trigger. That has to come out. And that's a Phillips head. In order to get this charging handle off, you gotta just... I just keep wiggling it until it comes out. So you get the charging handle out. And out comes the rest of the assembly. It's that easy to take apart. Going back together, not a whole lot different. So as I mentioned, you can take the trigger mechanism apart. Uh, not a whole lot gets down in there. Uh, the mag wall, you keep the mag wall clean. Keep the chamber clean. Run your cleaning material through the barrel. Um, if you find an old one that's laying around in Grandpa's attic, completely disassemble it. Trigger everything and uh, give it a good clean with some solvent and oil it up. But uh, this one's been apart many times. I mean, if you're going to field strip this and clean it because you dropped it in some mud or did whatever, that's as far as you got to go. You just got to make sure that the barrel's not obstructed. So let's put this thing back together. There is a key that just fell out. That rides in the top groove. Hopefully uh, my GoPro is going to get this. That rides right there. this back in the bottom here okay. 
and it goes. Next up is the charging handle, which again is no, it's the same getting it in as it is getting it out. It's, you got to wiggle it around, move it around. All right, so without a word of a lie, it's been probably 30 minutes that I've been jacking around with this charging handle. All the video, other videos you watch on the internet, that this the charging handle just slides right in. That's not the case. The key has to match on the top. So when you put it together, there's a half moon cut out of the key in the top. That's got to line up with the hole. Then it will slide in. Then you slide the charging handle forward. Small spring first. And the big spring. I wouldn't do anything special with these springs other than just maybe clean them. Then the cap. Action works. One more thing. Do not forget on the back side of this, there's a small set screw there. Very small set screw. That goes in and feeds against the threads, which stops this cap from backing out on its own. All right, now that the cap is secure, set screw is tight on the bottom. See the back of the stock, and again, it's just one screw on the very bottom. All right. Together now you gotta cycle it, make sure it works. Nice and crisp. Alright, well that's gonna do it for the disassemble, reassemble of the Savage 22 long rifle. A little bit of a problem getting the charging handle back in and it happens. But anyway, it worked out, it cycles properly, it's clean. But the more you take them apart and put them back together, the more proficient you get. Probably been about a month since I took that one apart. Well, in the next one, we may be taking that out to zero that scope in. Folks, every time you take the scope off a gun, you got to zero back in. It's the way it is. Anyway, see you on the next one. Later. last shot there of the ammo going into the grinder maybe it wasn't such a good idea might have to do a little surgery on the grinder don't tell her <laughs>